Topic is how to avoid data truncation while merging SAS datasets. In here, I have two datasets. One is have one and another is have two. And I'm going to merge have one and have two based off name variable. And if you look closely, name has been defined as length eight in have one dataset, whereas it has been defined as length 12 in have two dataset. Here I'm going to merge this have one and have two dataset after sorting these two datasets on the by variable, which is name. Let us quickly run all of this and see what happens in our data. Here we have truncation in the dataset after the merge and we used to have Christopher, but it has got truncated till here. Now let us try to understand why this truncation happens. Whenever we merge the datasets, which have a common variable, the variable attributes are taken from the first data set, which means the name length has been picked up from have one, which is eight, and Christopher is much longer than the eight length, and then it gets truncated. And also we see the warning, which says that multiple lengths were specified for the by variable, and this could cause unexpected results. We can solve this problem in two ways, but the idea is same. We make sure that SAS compiler sees longer length variable instance is set. So here, what I'm doing is I'm using merge and then saying have to and then have one. In this way, our variable length, which is much larger, will be set first. Or we can use a length statement and give it a much larger length first even before using the merge itself. So much larger length 12 is set first. In this way, we can solve the problem. Now let us quickly run these two and see our results. Both the datasets we have created will not have any truncation. You can see in here. And also I'm showing you another dataset also in which there is no truncation. 